Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. So excited that you came to the channel today. This is BlackRock Business and you are wondering about QuickBooks Point of Sale. Well, today we're gonna to talk about, uh, in conjunction with the EMB pin pad for taking credit cards, how to hook up your actual QuickBooks payments account to QuickBooks Point of Sale. Before we jump into that, I'm gonna tell you that yes, you can just go ahead and sign up and turn on QuickBooks payments within QuickBooks Point of Sale, but I'm gonna recommend against it, I believe that you should give me a call so I can get you some special attention from my Intuit merchant rep who can evaluate what you're doing and give you slightly better rates than you're gonna find in QuickBooks Point of Sale straight out of the box. So give me a call, leave me a message, uh, or Click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Uh, I'm always hanging out there answering questions. I think you should join up so you can ask me anything you want. We have a great community there of other retailers just like you who are asking all about different workflows, training, things they don't know about, or requesting videos for this channel. So join up there and send me a message if you want some better QuickBooks rates uh, on your credit card processing. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming at you all the time from our channel. Okay, let's do this. So we are going to go on the file menu and I'm going to click on the setup interview right here. Now, this is something that you should have jumped through right when you kind of installed QuickBooks point of sale but maybe you didn't turn on payments at the time, and so I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Right now it's saying, no, we don't want to accept credit and debit cards, and I'm gonna hit yes, and I'm gonna hit sign in. And of course, this is after you speak to my rep about getting your account set up, and you will have gone through a little email that attaches your email uh, address to your QuickBooks payments account. All right, so here we go. We pop this up and let's see here. All right, now it is signing into my QuickBooks payments account. I'm going to select it here. And now we are connected as you can see. I want you to hit next and done. Now, anytime you are logged into an Intuit QuickBooks Payments account, you can see up here, there's a big green button that says sign out and it has a dollar sign on it. So since it's green, that actually means that we are signed in. Uh, if, <laughs> if it actually was signed out, it would disappear. You wouldn't see it here anymore. But there you have it. We have attached my QuickBooks Payments account to QuickBooks Point of Sale. So it's just as easy as that. And uh, if you have any questions about this, you can leave it down in the comments below. And if this was a helpful video to you, you can go ahead and hit the like button. I love my likes. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. I hope you have yourself a great day. All right, bye.